Yeah, that's why I put it back there. So it's just set it up different. It's actually working out, actually. That's the hard part. Look, I want to pack it back up. Hey, hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to J&J &J Hot Wheels here with Big J. And Little J. Right on, right on. Man, we hope everybody's had, had a great week. Uh, man, it is almost the end of 2023. I can't believe how fast this has gone by. Um, we have not posted in a little while. We have had uh, a lot of pickups, and we did stop at the flea market again, uh, as you've seen at the beginning of the video. Um and we're going to go over what we found in November. And I don't think we found anything this month yet, but we are going to a toy show tomorrow. Little Jay uh, picked up this. Couple bucks. I mean, couple bucks at the. I didn't uh, realize it was messed up. That was the only classic that they had. On the table, but it was this uh, 57 Bel Air. And uh, it's kind of messed up card. So he just said, forget it, man. He's just going to crack that thing. I'm going to show him in the camera. Show them the camera, man. They're, they're a little closer. Yeah. Dude, look at this thing. That thing is sweet, dude. White interior. And I love the, uh, I love this style of the Bel Air. Uh, they have a Chevy Bel Air and then they have the 57 Chevy. And uh, this one is, is really nice with that Spectre frame teal right there. But before we even start with our flea market finds, uh, go ahead and uh, hand me. Uh, some of this stuff was gifted to us, and I definitely want to give a shout out to the people that hooked us up with a few items. So on Thanksgiving, uh, right before Thanksgiving uh, break, uh, my buddy Luis that I work with, um, I've been working with Luis for about, oh man, almost 10 years now. Uh, man, he picked up this at uh, Target right here, and uh, he shot it to me, man, this, the 86 Ford SVO and the 91 Camaro Z28. LE1 Auto World, uh, Target exclusive, very cool right there, man. Uh, big shout out to Luis for that. And then uh, my buddy uh, Tone, my buddy Tone on Thanksgiving, man, look, this guy, look what he hooked me up with, man. We could not find this for nothing. And a big shout out to Tone, man. Uh, that completed our set on these boulevards, number seventy three, right there. So. Um, that we could not find this one on the pegs and I wasn't going to pay the, the premium for this one. So, uh, thanks to tone for hooking us up with that. And then also, uh, Mike, we know you're watching Mike, big shout out to Mike, man. He hooked us up with the Honda civic EG and the 98 Toyota Alteza, uh, from the modern classic sets. And we'll get to the other ones in a minute, uh, our premium haul in, but, uh, Big shout out, Mike. Thank you so much, man. Right on. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and J little Jay's going to go ahead and start bringing over some of these flea market mm -hmm. finds. Uh, or do you want to do premiums? premiums? Okay, we'll go premiums. So uh, I did pick up the Porsche 911 Turbo, the 930, number 82 Boulevard uh, from Walmart a few weeks ago. These were dropped a few weeks ago. Um, there were a few more of them on the pegs. Um, I have a buddy that actually has a set of these for me that he was holding for me. So I ended up just picking this one up, which will end up being an extra after I get that set. So, um, did find that Boulevard right there. Um, I picked up this Johnny lightning right here, 1970 Ford Mustang Mach one right there, man. This thing is sweet. My buddy in high school, Keith had one of these. He, uh, brought it from Colorado, had a little bit of rust on it. But it had a 351 Cleveland 4-speed, and it was this exact same color right here. And uh, as soon as I seen it, I was like, oh, there goes Keith's Mach 1. So I, I had to have that, man. Uh, that was a sweet pickup right there. And uh, we got this uh, Fast and Furious 1991 BMW M5. So this whole set was there. I only really wanted the BMW M5. Uh, that was the one I really wanted out of the set, to be honest with you. I know it's probably a peg warmer, maybe wherever you guys might be at, but 
I, I, I like this BMW right there. And then this was there. I said the whole set was there. So, you know, I had to grab the Supra. And, uh, you know, the delivery on it, it's all right, I guess. I mean, I, I liked it better on the Nissan, but it's all right. You know, so I grabbed it. Um, let's see what else. What else did we, we pick up? Oh, yeah. Let's go to that premium right there. Little J just handed me this. I, I ended up uh, picking this one up a couple weeks ago. This was at Target on a Saturday. Um, really cool, man. If I see another one of these, I might even buy it and open it because I like how the oh, yeah. the uh, the cab flips down and uh, displays the car. That's really cool. I don't know if there's other transports. We don't have any transports. I don't know if there's any other transports that have come in the past. You guys could let me know in the comments whether or not there's been other transports that have the drop down sides. Uh, does that one have drop down size? Is that the fleet? So oh, this is the fleet cider hauler, and that's the fleet flyer on that golf. So okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and show you. We did pick up the rest of the the modern classic sets uh, right there. So I did find these ones, the the Fiat, the Corrado right there, the Volkswagen, which is ultra clean in that purple. And you know I had to get the Miata because. You know, I got the Miata, a Mazda Miata, so I definitely had to grab the Miata. That was a no-brainer. And then uh, a couple things that we got in the mail. Uh, we did get a couple things in the mail. Uh, we did end up getting the uh, the black RLC Porsche 959. I only picked up one of those ones right there, but that one was pretty clean right there. And... The, uh, the Honda Integra Type R, right there, the right hand, uh, left hand drive uh, JDM version of the Acura Integra that we would see here in the US. So, yeah, I picked up two of those, and the other one is already headed out to to uh, somebody, and he knows who's, who's getting it. Some of you guys might have seen in the comments. I know a lot of you guys uh, weren't able to pick up one of those Integras, and if I could have picked up more of them, I, I would have, man. I, I just got lucky on it, and I know it's not easy sometimes when everybody's trying to get in on these these cars. And uh, right away, one of the guys in our community asked for one, and I, I told him I'd send it out his way. So we worked out a little little trade, and uh, he's got one headed out his way right now. So a couple Matchbox cars that we picked up. I picked up that Honda Off-Road. I like the the uh livery on the side of it that was really cool and then uh the mbx fuel car which uh i know bullet tony customs was talking about i believe it was uh anthony talking about this little logo badge on the side of it maybe possibly being like they only have these on like their uh i don't know chase I, chase cars their super chases uh picked up a couple short cards I picked up the, uh, these were at Dollar Tree, and that's the Porsche 911 Rally right there, and then the Ice Cream King, which I love those little Ice Cream King trucks, those are really cool. Uh, also picked up a couple uh, moving parts, so we got a, I was lo looking for this one too, this is nice, the 96 Mitsubishi Lancer Evo, uh, what is that, a 4? Very cool. Very cool. So I picked that one up. And then I like this one. This little long bed 64 Chevy, uh, Chevy C10 pickup. Moving parts with the opening hood. And then uh, let's see what else we got here. Ran across the Q case. So we had had the short card unboxing video. Um, but we ended up running across a, a Q case, which I grabbed a Nomad, the, uh, 240 drift wagon, and then another, uh, Datsun Bluebird wagon, and also the Volkswagen Baja Bug, uh, Q case treasure hunt, little TH logo there on the, the back, and then the 56, uh, Corvette in blue, uh, which looks really nice with that baby blue right there. So Lil J is going to, I think, start bringing over some of the flea market finds right here. 
And uh, this was one of the ones that I ran across at the show. And I, two bucks, I picked this up, this little Soma uh, diecast super wheel right here, man. This is way cool right here. A Ferrari Testarossa. And uh, for two bucks, I'll grab it. It's even unpunched right there. So that was really cool. It doesn't really have much to it. And I mean, it is definitely not a nice die cast. Jaden said, don't buy that, that piece of crap. And I was like, no, it's cool. It's a Testarossa, man. And he was like, that's a piece of crap. For $2, I mean. <laughs> he didn't think it was good for 2 bucks. Because I've seen those before. Maybe you I got. Okay. He said he's seen them before. I don't know. This one's pretty cool. Like Tell him about it. Show, show it to him real quick. 2001 first edition Ford Focus dragster. Uh, it's got the McGuire livery on the side of it with the big old no wing. Moonies. Should yeah. be moonies. Looks like it, huh? Yeah. Uh, what is it? Um, that is a uh, Ang Angela panel truck, which I think we might have a Cotwheel Classic of that, maybe. 58 Corvette Coupe. It's got a nice looking paint on it. That purple yeah. is really popular. 70s uh, Chevy. Chevelle uh, SS with the Edelbrock. Isn't that that one right there? Yeah, we got one. Uh, it's covered up right now by the Supra. That's the... We found a no, a, a no tempo version of that car back. I don't know. We got an older video of it, but here's a. Got we found this at a at a CVS. No. Uh, uh Rite Aid. Uh, no tempo. Uh, Chevelle SS right there. Very cool. So I like that casting right there. Um, I found this, and all these all these we paid about a dollar for them. This it's Easter not bad. Easter exclusives. Uh. 67 GTO. Uh, I got this surf crate right here. All right, there, you know, Doll Star likes his surf crates right there. We got the surfboard in the back right there. And then uh, Jaden grabbed this one. He picked this up for a buck, which was a good deal. First editions. Uh, and it's got that nice purple. Man, you can't go wrong with those purple paints on a Hot Wheel. Scorching scooter right there. Honda Civic, 2003 first, edition, uh, first editions, pretty cool. I got that one too. Jaden picked this one out right here. It's a uh, Datsun 6, 620 truck. Right there, very cool. Uh, what's we got this? I think you picked this one out too. This one's really heavy. From uh, 77 Plymouth... Uh, Plymouth Arrow right there. 77 Plymouth Arrow, and it's like a dragster. It does have a flip-up metal top, metal base right Tommy. there. Oh, you picked that from Tommy. Yeah. yeah, so that would have been like Tommy's display at the beginning video. He also had this uh, 76 uh, Chevette. We grabbed another one of these red editions. We never did find these in store, and uh, he had that one for two bucks, man. I, I didn't think that was a bad bad price Probably on it. Probably the lightest Hot Wheel ever. The, um, Good year blimp. Uh, blimp. Yeah. Very cool. Um, I got that from Tommy too, and I think I got this one, the Corvette Stinger. Right there, man. It's shiny looking thing. It's got its original cents. original tag. What store from? What store is it from? Is Does it say? say? No, but eighty four cents though. Eighty four cents for it. Oh, come in right there. Here but uh, here. here. Um, oh yeah. Baja Bone Shaker. Factory sealed 2021. Very cool. Not bad for a dollar sitting in the rain. Oh yeah. yeah. From that dude that silver price. Did Dances. you already show that one in a video? In the last video? I don't the know. overpriced dim two person. Okay, we got this short card Cadillac 16 right here. Very cool. Uh, Jaden grabbed this red edition right here. Yeah, that uh, Tommy had that too. For a dollar. He got this guy was negotiating everything down to a dollar. Uh, 
05 Corvette C6 Red Edition right there. Uh, 67, he also picked out the 67 uh, Shelby GT500 with this beautiful metallic green right here. It's got some gold stripes on the on the top. Very cool right there. And then the older older Hot Wheels that I found, and this this is some of the oldest Hot Wheels in the collection for us right here. And we yeah. kind of went out there this time, this last time the flea market, kind of just looking for honestly just some older Hot Wheels, you ones. know, because we always see we always see the uh, the uh, new Hot Wheels out in the store. We're out there on the grind. So we do end up finding a lot of the Hot Wheels that you guys see out there. So uh, some of the stuff we never got to find was stuff like this. And uh, I wasn't collecting in 1989, but I found this uh, GT been. Racer. I should have been collecting. I did collect comics. But this uh, from Speed Fleet. And uh, uh, it's a car uh, GT Racer right there. I think I might have paid, I don't know. No more than two dollars for this, um, but that was it says 1988 right there, so it's probably 89. And its package got a little yellow. Did you collect those mini cars? Uh, I do have some micro machines, oh, micro machines. do have some micro machines, and then there were he had two of these on the table this alien. So I picked up, I picked them both up right there. I think they might even have different. Maybe I was thinking there might have been something different about them, but uh, maybe not. I'm not sure. But yeah, picked up two of these aliens, and then the the uh, other thing that I noticed was down on the the ground there was a guy that had uh, two for a dollar loose loose uh, Hot Wheels. So I uh, I grabbed this one right here, and this is out of the Fast and Furious five pack right here from uh, maybe. I don't know how many years ago, but uh, I think I'm gonna do a little, little restoration on this one right here. So it's, it's got some played with value on it, but yeah. And then the the other one that I seen sitting right on top is the oldest Hot Wheel that we have in our collection now. So right here you're looking at a night. I didn't even look through the whole pin, but for fifty cents, this guy had this uh, 1969. Uh, Fire Chief Oldsmobile 442 and uh, it's definitely uh, seen better days plastic bottom plastic bottom. plastic bottom and you can see right there and it does have a busted out windshield right there unfortunately so there's somebody out there that watches this that has a donor windshield and maybe I'll try to pull off a restoration or something on this um, I could probably uh, paint the bottom black or do something with it, but it does have those original red lines. So this is the oldest. Uh, this is the oldest Hot Wheel we have in the collection right here. Very cool. So super glad to add this. It's not focusing very well, but super glad to add this one to the collection. So uh, you got to have an original red line in the collection. So I'd love to have a '68 Hot Wheel, um, but '69 is pretty close, man. So. I can do that. Very cool, man. 69 Fire Chief. Uh, Oldsmobile 442 to add to the collection. So um, with that, I think we're going to let it, let you guys go. I know we've probably taken up way too much of your time, but for anybody that watched the video, I appreciate you watching it through to the end. Uh, we will be posting another video because we're going to be going to the Conquer Toy Show uh, tomorrow, uh, December 9th and uh we'll be posting a video of our finds from that show so this is little j and big j signing out see you on the next one peace